Please be nice to me, the only show where nice guys finish first. You know, with all this ugliness in the world, we here at Please Be Nice To Me LLC decided to gather the nicest people we know, or, well, the people trying to be their nicest. And we're gonna see which of them are the best at it and which ones are, well, Losers. This is a game show where contestants will compete in mini games and challenges to determine who is the nicest among them. They're gonna be dodging cynical curveballs and secondhand embarrassment at every turn. I like to think of it as a game show focused on radical empathy and cutthroat kindness. So join me in please being nice to me. Please. Today we're joined by Lindsay Toe Cheese Washburn, Tay Tay Toot Reed, and James Jimbo Willems. Now I wanna go down the line and get to know each of you guys. Come on, let's have a rapport, let's establish something, right? Hi, I'm James, I'm a writer, producer. I'm also a, an anti-poacher, like one of those guys that goes out to, to, hunt, to poach, hunt, to poach poachers, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. In a way, poaching. Technically, but it's for good, like Batman. Tay, tell us about you. I don't know, someone just found me on the street. Um, I kind of asked for change, but if someone gives me change, I give it back. Well, I like to say, be the change. That's great. Yeah. I'm gonna start using that when I give their change back. Hold the change you wanna see in your pocket. Yeah. Lindsay, what's hey. going on? Hi, Charlotte. You don't know me. You introduced yourself. So let's keep it professional. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited to Tell get me to know you. Anyway, so uh, my name's Lindsay. I'm a producer over at Funhouse, the great YouTube channel for comedy and gaming. Love to cook, love to bake, and I'm a gamer. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're saying good things. Ugh. Let's deduct five points from Lindsay. No, wow. I, I don't have to be. I'm just saying, you can get it back, because I believe in you, but being a gamer is going to put you at a deficit. I've never gamed. Let's give those five points back. All right, James, would you consider yourself to be a nice person? I would, yes, genuinely. Elaborate. Uh, I think I treat people with respect. I think I'm pretty empathetic. I, <laughs> what, what's that expression for? Why what's are you looking that? over there? Don't look at me, Something look, at the, camera. look there? at the camera. Okay, I can still kind of, out of the corner of my eye, see you tilting in such a way that- Tay, would you say that you're a nice person? I'm pretty sure I'm the nicest person in this room. I mean, I just saw some random guy walking around this office with like wearing no shoes. So you know what I had to do? I gave him my shoes. Oh, did they fit him? I don't know, hopefully. Okay. He'll squeeze in it. Lindsay, would you consider yourself a nice person? Yeah, you know, I'm pretty nice. I like to do things for other people, uh, but I can also be a real bitch, if you know okay. what I mean. Okay, okay, give me some. That's right. Is that part of the show? I don't know, deduct some points. This is a game played for points with the first place prize, which we don't have yet, going to the player with the most. There are a few ways to earn points. You can earn them by competing in the mini games we have for you today, or because I feel like it, uh, two points for Tay. And uh, there's also anytime points. This is an opportunity to earn five points, really whenever. And it's at my discretion. I can decide if you've gotten too many or if you haven't gotten enough. The first one is call them. Is there someone in your life that you've been meaning to call who would really, really mean a lot to hear from them? Well, maybe you could just give them a call while you're here on my show. Affirm Char. It's tough out there for me. So if you wanna say something like nice, get yourself a little nice handful of points by making me feel better. The whole reason we made this show in the first place, because I needed to feel Worth something. Rub to back. You get a few points just for giving a consensual back rub. But make sure you get permission first, because you will be docked if you give an unsolicited back rub. Mm. Uh -huh. Good to know. Consensual. So, yeah, okay. so con it's consensual. You have to ask. If you yeah. want to rub to back, you got to ask the question. Rub to back. Ask, ask the, the question. question. Okay, two points to Tay. That was really good, guys. The player with the most points at the end will be officially recognized as the most nicest person. Pretty cool. That is cool. All right, let's loosen up, right? <laughs> you guys seem so tense. Oh my God. Oh, wow, sharp, hachi, mama. Not it's not a back rub. That was just polite, polite that was playful the, ribbing. That was playful ribbing. Side. We're gonna get started with something I like to call nice breakers. <laughs> I get it. I'm gonna do you all a little favor and you know give you some house money to play with. So one by one, each player is gonna be prompted to say three nice things about each of their contestants. A 15 second clock will run for each comment, and for each successful compliment, 15 points will be awarded. You're so smart for using a tablet. You guys trying to affirm Jar? Oh, I huh? didn't, I didn't okay. even me. I, I don't know. That okay, I let's get five points across the board. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wait, I'm so nice. Tay, if you could please say three nice things about James, you have 15 seconds per 
Upon each successful compliment, I will reset the clock to 15 seconds. Oh. Ready in three, Ooh. two, one, go. You have such nice white walker blue eyes, you know? You're tall. Everyone likes tall people. Everyone loves tall people. That looks good. And one last one, please, Tay. You got muscles. Everyone loves the muscles. For me. There we go. Okay, <laughs> cool. Very nice. That's 45 on the board for Tay Toot. Suck it. Oh, shit. I heard that. That's five off for Tay Toot. Yes. Get wrecked, pitch. Okay, oh. now say three. Now say three. <laughs> say three nice things, please, about toe cheese. You know, you look so familiar. It reminds me of an old roommate of mine, but this hair is so good. And I love your piercing. I wish I had a nose piercing Time. like that. That's good. And then once more. I love the way you dress yourself. It's so comfortable, but so stylish at the same time. I don't know. Where do you get your clothes from? I'd love to shop there. Wow. Time. It's like the <laughs> nose thing. That nose ring was different than the hair, so I'll take that as three. That's, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's what she thought. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Forty-five more points for Tay. Nice. <laughs> Feeling great. Wow. That was really. I feel it feels good in here. Mm -hmm. I also like your nose rings. Okay. Give five points to Tay. <laughs> James, how do you feel about complimenting these wonderful contestants? You I have feel like it's going to be the easiest thing I'll have to do all day. Oh, okay. Isn't that sweet, folks? Now, compliment Tay. Uh, you have a great sense of style. Awesome tattoos. One. <laughs> that's that's one. You gave your shoes away to someone earlier, which is really nice. You're just it's commenting two. on what she did. Yeah, what, what does she do? Is having her socks actions, on a compliment? Her actions receive compliments. Well, say she's a good person. I don't know that. I think I can only give James points for two. Yeah. Okay, I only said two, so. Do you want to give her one more compliment? Yeah, yeah, And we'll kind of, we'll decide. You yeah. know, Tay, actually, you can tell us if you like the compliment you get from him. I think your eye, make is, eye, eye makeup is really cool. I'm gonna go with fashion, how I... Oh, that all counts as fashion? Oh, no. So we don't get a third one. All right, no. all right do you want to maybe redemption arc three nice things about Lindsay Tochi's wash burn starting now? I love how competitive you're already acting playing this game. Okay, I mean, that's one. That's one, yeah, I'll okay. take it. I appreciate how bright your eyes are. You have a brightness to your eyes, stunning brightness. Okay. I also like how your hair looks like Rogue from the X-Men comics. What do we think? Don't know who that is. She's pretty great. Rogue is pretty great. Ask the audience. Audience? Woo! I'll okay. take it. That is 45 points for James. Lindsay, let's get three nice things about James. Okay. Ready in three, two, one, go. James, your hair is always in a perfect coif. Queen. James, I love your commitment to your health and your fitness. We love it. And you have a nice smile. I mean, you know, I the beholder, but let's give 50 points to Lindsay for that one, for getting oh. them all off in 15 seconds. How about that? And three nice things about Tay too. Tay, I love your lemon lime green hair. Tay, you are a really good person. I can make that call. Tay, uh, you're a funny girl. Okay, come on, give me some. I like that. That's what's stop no. it. Five points right, away I, from James. I thought I thought you were giving me high five because of how well I took those compliments. Not everything's about you, James. All right. <sighs> Sensing some tension. <laughs> okay, we're gonna play our first game, which is called Honestly. We have 100 points, 99, and 80. Looking pretty even. Except for dreams. Okay. We're all good people, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The oh, greatest. Yeah. Or, 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 or are we? Right? Okay. Well, we're going to get to the bottom of this right now. We're going to see how good you each are. But also, you're going to get the chance to mercilessly lie through your teeth. <gasps> oh, oh no, I'm trying to lie. If you say I'm lying, doesn't mean I'm going to believe you because your teeth are together. Oh, my son. That's my last that's Marlon Brando. From? Godfather the Part Godfather 3. Godfather Part 3. <laughs> okay, well, I've asked each of my lovely contestants here to tell me about the nicest thing that they've ever done for a roommate. I'm going to read each submission, and it's up to the competing players to decide whether the story is true or not. But before they do, they will wager points. Should they be right, they will receive their points back and that amount wagered. If they're wrong, however, 
they lose those points and do not get any points. Uh -huh. Let's get started with Lindsay. One time when I was living with this friend, we lived together for just under a year, she was so high and hungry, she said, Linz, make me food. And so I made her a lasagna. And then an hour later, when she was still hungry, I ordered McDonald's and then she wanted dessert, so I drove her to Yogurtland. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Now, you two live together. Yeah, we, live, we used to live together. About how long was that for? Just under a year. Really? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna guess in a second if this story is true. Can I, uh... You both have to wager points. Can yeah. I ask that Tay goes first? Yes. <laughs> I think he should go first. Please, show it. Show it. Okay, I don't know, I just... It's hard to decide. I'm just feeling really tense right now. Do you, you want a back wub? <laughs> I would really like to have my back derived. Ooh. I've had lots of roommates, by the way. Yeah. Thanks, James. That's great. Take a walk. Five points for James. Damn. You got strong thumbs. Yeah, not bad at all. No meat on them. Not it's just at all. Bones. <laughs> bones. <laughs> yeah, it's like having two big pens rubbed into my shoulder <laughs> blades. Really nice. Okay. Tay, how many points are you wagering? 75. Oof. My goodness. But I think she's lying. Okay, so 75 on lying. James? I'm gonna wager them all. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, I'll do 30 points, and I think she's lying. Okay, what what are your reasoning? What, look at this face. Does this look like a person that would lie to you? I think she's fudged the details. I think one of those things happened, but I don't think that all of them I think did. two of those things happened, but I think one of them did not. Which could invalidate the entire story. Lindsay. Are you telling the truth? No. Oh, what's the real story? Nothing, it's just at all the time she'd be like, well, this made me food, and then I'd, we'd make something. Who knew that such a sweet face could tell such vicious lies? Which, it was all true to yeah, a I'm different not, time. You could have made a case for this being real because they all happened, but it's too late. Tay, 75 points awarded. James, 30 points awarded. So now we are at 100, 174, and 115. Wow, okay. It is time for our next story, Tay. Once I was alone for the holidays and felt like treating my roommate to come home to a nice meal as a surprise. I cooked a full meal while cleaning the kitchen slash front room just to realize that they weren't coming home for a few days. It's kind of more of a story, you know, congratulating yourself for doing such a It's a, a thought that thing. counts, you know? It's, I mean, you did do it. But it wasn't- I for, did clean. Nobody, the roommate didn't I mean, yeah, it's more of a silly happenstance. She happenstance. had a clean place. Let me make this productive. Okay, James, do, what are you gonna wager? I'm gonna wager 60 points. Okay, do you think it's true or false? I think it's true. Okay, wow, we think Tay really is that bitch. Very cool. Lindsay, what are you wagering? And why are you doing it? I'm gonna wager 50 points because I need some points but I'm scared to lose them all. Yeah, that's true. But is it true or false? Oh, um, <clears throat> can I ask a question? Sure, why not? We're all friends here. <laughs> What was your roommate's name? Yeah, she could buy a couple names. <laughs> Is one of them Tochi's? Is Jason oh. born? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a lie. Gosh. 50 points, 60 points. Tay, are you telling the truth? It was the truth. <gasps> oh my goodness. 60 points I to don't James. It. 50 away from Lindsay Washburn. Why did you think it was she was lying? Perfectly reasonable. It's not even a very nice thing. Because she came I haven't home told and, the, you. and the place was dirty and there wasn't told any me food what? left. <laughs> when I was alone for Christmas. <laughs> I was alone for Christmas. Nobody knows what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me a Taco Bell gift card for Christmas. Who? You did. What? <laughs> when? You'd think they'd have an advantage, Oh right? my gosh. You, you want to get back some of those points, Lindsay? Can I call you can, someone? You can call someone. Yeah, All that's right. Right. This is really unprecedented. This has never what happened on the show. For? Uh, because this is the first Probably episode. Probably because I have, I have mine on do not You've got an answering machine. <laughs> got to do it one more time. Pick up your phone. Put it up to your ear. Uh, oh man, no one's like calling a, me right yeah, now. It sounds like an unsuccessful call. Why? Hello? Wow. It's for you. Hello? <laughs> Day. Ugh. Remember when we lived together? It was so great. We had such a great time. It's kind of... Kind of sad, tension. yeah. Of Ooh, tension. I don't like that. Guys, James is looking pretty tense right now. I, yeah, I, honestly, this is, I I could go for a back row right now because all the tension of this is really driving, it's driving me crazy, so. 
Hell, I'll get in there. <laughs> Three points. <laughs> Come on, five points for Charlotte. Oh, on the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's all about the thumbs. Should yeah. feel like a bionicle's hands. <laughs> Do you love aviators, but hate how they always get tangled in your hair? That's always been my problem with standard aviators. I can't wear them even though I love the look. Well, guess what? Shady Rays has these super cute tangle-free aviators. And seriously, pretty amazing. You can get the classic aviator look without the messy hair because of their custom patent-pending nose piece that they designed specifically to avoid tangling. These frames are super lightweight, but they also feel very high-end, as premium as any multi-hundred dollar pair of sunglasses. And we love the shine on the frame, don't we folks? The bright lenses, they really have it all. So yeah, I have long hair, and I also don't like looking into the sun, which means of course that I've had things tangled in my hair, including aviator sunglasses. And now I don't need to worry about that at all because Shady Ray's tangle-free aviators, it's one of their hottest sunglasses right now, hotter than the sun. And they've already sold out multiple times. They're back in stock now though, including the Kelamesa Rose Gold Frame, our favorite style right now, blackout and black gold. Plus Shady Ray's offers the most insane protection in all of eyewear. Every pair of sunglasses is back by lost and broken replacements. Lose or break your pair even on day one and they will send you a brand new pair, no questions asked. It's insane. And also, every purchase supports the Shady Rays Impact Program, which works directly with nonprofits and their communities to empower and make adventure accessible for everyone from childhood cancer patients to young adults with serious health conditions. Shady Rays is making a lasting impact on their lives through sunglasses. There's absolutely no risk too when you shop with Shady Rays. If you don't love your pair, you can exchange them for a new pair or return them for free within 30 days. Exclusively for our viewers, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the season. Head to ShadyRays.com tangle free with code please be nice for 30% off their best selling tangle free aviator and much more safe before they sell out and try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 250,000 people. That made me feel good to feel useful so I just feel very affirmed five points uh, for James. Thank you. Oh thank you. How about that? Okay speaking of James Jimbo, Jimbo, producer, Annie Poacher, come on, give me some. In college, my roommate bought a used GameCube. Aging yourself. It worked for about a week. Surely. <laughs> it worked for about a week before turning off and never turning back on again. My roommate was disappointed and frustrated because they had saved up for it and we were broke college kids. With little to no experience, I went online and tried to figure out the issue, which involved taking the system apart, replacing electronics that I still don't understand, having another friend help with some soldering. And somehow we managed to get the GameCube working again just a week before our time as roommates ended. I don't know how long the fix lasted, but they messaged me a few years later to tell me it was still working. Awfully wordy. How about that? Gamer, yeah. take five points away from him. Oh, yeah. I didn't use it, technically. <laughs> okay, so. give James three points back. All right, that's fine. Associating with a gamer, that mm -hmm. was never good. Mm. Lindsay. Yes. What are you wagering and why are you wagering it? How many points do I have? I don't know, 50? All of them, 50. Okay, that's 50 down for Lindsay. It's a lie. The internet did not exist when James was in college. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Close. <laughs> give Lindsay 10 points, because it's funny. Tay, what's up? I will also do 50, because wow. I don't think he's that smart, and I think it was too wordy. <laughs> I like that I admitted I had to look up what I was doing and ask for help. <laughs> Allegedly. Okay, Allegedly. wow, that's 50 for each 100 to be gained right now. James, are you full of shit? Listen, the internet didn't exist back then. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, so no, that didn't happen. Of course. Yes! Oh my goodness! God, I'm such a good person. <laughs> wow, yeah, you guys are great. You're really nice. Yeah. You, however, oof. Let's recap the point totals. Lindsay, 110 points. She's back in the race. Tay, 224 in the lead, and James with 178. Could be 180, but he couldn't keep his mouth shut. Now it is time for our second game. This one's called Sorry You Feel That Way. Have you guys ever had to make a like a really good apology? Like everything was on the line and you just had to just sell it with the perfect I'm sorry? I've never had to because I'm just such a good person. So you've never apologized for anything? 
No, I've never done anything bad. All right, that's what's up. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, Lindsay and James, I'm sure you guys have had to apologize many times. Yeah, Maybe to more me. More times than I can count. Yeah, okay, come on, give me some. That's not called for. Well, today you guys get to partake in the proud tradition of apologizing for someone else's mistakes. I have gone through the depths of the Am I the Asshole subreddit, a place that no one should go, and you will be making an apology on their behalf as if you were them. I'm going to read this, then give you a minute to write your apology. Understood? Yes. Yep. Okay, I've uh, amended and edited this to be legible and understandable, although I did leave one of the quotes verbatim. I am a 32-year-old male. I've been dating my GF, 29, for three years. Recently, my phone died, and I needed to get a new one. Since I could afford to pay it off, I decided to get the new Samsung S23 Plus. I was going to place an order online and pick it up at Best Buy yesterday after work, but my girlfriend texted me that she did so for me, which was much appreciated. When I got home yesterday, she said we should go together. However, upon arrival, I noticed the money for the order hadn't come out of my bank account. I asked her if she put it on my credit card and she said no, she bought it for me with her debit card. At this point, I yelled, you spent $1,100 plus on me? She replied in a startled manner saying, yes, because I love you, honey. I handed the phone back to her and said, just cause you make more money than me doesn't meaning you have to flex it. <laughs> she got upset and started to cry right in the middle of the store. A few witnesses called me an asshole. Only a few witnesses in the store, huh? <laughs> yeah, it would seem so. I'm gonna start the clock for a minute, at which point you are going to write the perfect apology. If you need me to go over any of the details, now is the time to ask. Got it. It's all up here. It's all locked in? Yep. All right, three, two, one, apologize. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's time. Ooh, wow. Down to the wire. I wonder what they said. Each player is now going to read their apology or non-apology. I'm not really sure how the cards are gonna fall on this one. Awards of points will be given in descending order from 50, 25 to 10. I am the judge, the jury, and the executioner. Let's hear some apologizing. Okay, I have to preface that I've never made an apology because I'm such a good person. I didn't mean what I said because I wanted to get you a phone as well. I have bad memory and would like to apologize for my anger memory loss. Dearest GF, as a 32-year-old male, I'm used to getting whatever I want. Your generosity was something I had never experienced before. I love my phone and you. I'm sorry. I'd like to preface this that I wrote this apology from the perspective of the girlfriend. Babe, I'm so fucking sorry that you are too poor to afford $1,000 purchases on your debit card and maybe if you would grow up and quit playing Xbox in your underpants all day and get a real job, I would love you more. Wow, raw. I feel ready to dispense points, but I do wanna say really special holding space with you all today. Thank you. James, you get 10 points okay. at the, the bottom. Point? Oh. No, it's at the bottom because you did not specify how old the GF was and what her gender was. Okay. Okay. Was that in GF the thing? GF 29. Oh, she was, okay. Okay. All right, second, Tay with 25 points. Hey, you haven't made an apology before? That's great, kiddo. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Nicely done. I'm a good person. And Lindsay, properly eyeing the issue, which is that, unfortunately, given the way the world is set up, the woman does need to apologize first. I don't like it just as much as you don't, but we have to give Lindsay 50 points. Thank you. Let's do a little check-in, right? Lindsay has fought her way back to 160 points. Last place, but not too far. Not too far. James is sitting at 188. Could be more if he applied himself a little bit. And Tay, Sitting supreme at 249. My goodness. Get fucked. Oh shit. She's losing too. Come on. No, she's doing great. She was, oh. she was in the lead to start, and now she's losing the most. She's doing great. Okay. These days, it's cool to be dead inside. You know, if you go on Twitter or Club Penguin or Tumblr these days, like all these zillennials are saying like, oh, I wanna die. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, one of those. Remember? <laughs> okay. I remember. Yeah, that's right. What's up? She's funny. I feel affirmed. Give me five points for Lindsay. Anyway, I find that approach to be a little lacking. So for our third and final game today, I will be testing your capacity to feel. Prepare to have the bounds of your empathy pushed to their absolute limits. Okay. Okay? Now, despite my deep, naturally occurring reserves of empathy, I'm not an expert. So I got the, the next best thing I could, which is a straight white man who truly understands the suffering and plight of others. Patrick! We clapping for that? Hey there, Patrick. Hey. Can you tell us a little bit about what makes you so qualified to judge the empathy of others? Is that what I'm here for? Yeah. Mm. Uh, my phone, mm. hang on. <laughs> Getting a call. Wow, that's rude. Mm. Hello? Hey, Patrick, it's me, James. Jimbo, what's up? Uh, not, not a lot. I'm doing this. I'm doing this game show. Charlotte's doing a great job hosting. Um, okay. But I just, I just want to let you know that I think that you're doing a great job on the game show as well. Oh, thank you. And I think you're a very empathetic person. Yep. And I gotta go. <laughs> Sorry, that was important. Okay, five points to James because he made a call. We're going to be playing uh, a little test video that has been scientifically okay. crafted to pull every possible emotion from our contestants. And while it's playing, Patrick, I want you to study each one of them and sort of get a mental log going of their okay. emotional responses. And depending on your findings, we will award points 50, 25, and 10. Let's roll the video. He's got a big old head. I don't know about that one. How are we feeling, guys? It was a lot of ups and downs, yeah. but a lot of cuteness. Yeah. And then there was that child. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Lindsay, how do you feel? A roller coaster of emotions, that much like me. my life in general. Okay. It was like I was watching a speed run of my life. No, speedrun, that's kind of a gamer term. What's a gamer term? Is that like a German uh, popsicle flavor? Give Lindsay five points for, wordly, wor for, for worldliness. <laughs> Come on, give me some. <laughs> Dr. Brown, yep. do you think you've gathered enough intel? I think I have enough info to... Okay, starting with third place, who's getting 10 points? Well, let me start with a kind of a shock, maybe what might be a shocking revelation. Everyone up there was faking it to some degree. Really? Yes. That's not, this is unprecedented. I'm watching all three of these people like a hawk. Yeah. And I see a lot of, you know, mm, big faces, but, yeah. mm, you know. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Hamming it up, faking it, but an expert, that's not going to get past. Now, most people. Absolutely not. Iron Curtain. Most people, eventually, because of the image, the power of the images cracked. And you could see that even though they were faking it, a real emotion came through. Tay might be a sociopath, though, because there was no, it was all fake the whole time. And that's it bad. Never that's bad? It never, that's bad. I'm a good person. You might be a good sociopath. No. It's all fake. Ten points to Tay. Oh. oh. Second place, James. Okay. Tell because us, tell us about it. tried to stay stone-faced the whole time, but eventually mm -hmm. what happened... Mm -hmm. Hang on, I'm getting a phone mm -hmm. call. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey, so I'm on this game show, and there's this doofus judging people right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so I was just wondering, oh I'm, my I God. wrote something down here and I'm going to hand it to Charlotte and then I'm going to need her to hand it to this doofus judge and then and then hopefully the judge will read it. This is not my job. But... So anyway, I got to do this fucking show, so I'll, I'll catch you later. All right, well, let me know how it goes. What's this? I don't know, but it's from James. Oh, look, that's awesome. Can you read off what it says? It says JFK Jr. starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, that's interesting. Keep going. That might be more if we want to pivot the show <laughs> to talk about going. that. Patrick's right, arrow, nobody's left, and then this cool S from the 1990s. Does that for change those who are alive. your verdict at all? Well, unfortunately, no, but I'm judging by a different criteria here. So while James initially, he was faking it in a different way where he was trying to remain stone faced. 
but ultimately couldn't keep up the charade and crack. And he has no business showing any emotion up there. This is television. We don't want to see him vulnerable, right? Yeah, sorry, I'm just getting. But he eventually betrayed. Here. Eventually betrayed his true feelings. Hang on, I got it. We order. have to come on. You know, James is second place, right? Yeah. Okay, twenty-five points. Tell us why Lindsay is getting the big fifty. Well, so like I said, everyone faked it. To, excuse me. Hold that. I don't want that. Everyone faked it to some degree. Lindsay was so bad at faking it that it, it quickly became real. And I saw she her up there herself. almost weeping, like broken, like a child might, which is what we want to see. Sure. Uh, okay. It should be overwhelming. Yeah, okay. Thanks, everybody. Patrick Brown, empathy expert. And then, yeah, it says, give me pots. <laughs> Let's create a fourth column and give James 10 pots. <laughs> Not here, but for the road. Yeah. <laughs> for the road. It's for the road. It's a <laughs> zero zero it says, six. It says go. It says go. I need my show back. Okay. What? I need my show back. It's called. It's called. Please leave. Nice to me. Get out of here. In my hands, I hold the point totals, which will decide who is the most nicest person in the whole freaking world. <gasps> Coming in. At 218 is James. Wow. Pretty good, pretty nice. He's pretty nice. How did you lose points to, in such a way that I am now in first? In second place, oh. Lindsay with 225. <gasps> doesn't make any sense, it's more than Okay. Pretty and close. Tay with 259 points is in the lead number one, the most nicest person. However, James did earn 10 pots earlier, and those are each good for 100 regular points. <gasps> what? Yeah. He has 1,000? So he gets 1,000 points, so now James has 1,218. This guy fucking sucks. Yeah! Listen, don't, I, I'm sorry, I didn't want this. Yeah, Can Lindsay. I convert my points to pots and I just have two pots? Two pots to Lindsay. So I won? Yeah, yeah, you're really, you're the nicest. Oh. Okay, yeah, let's, let's cut. Congratulations. <laughs> I wish it weren't you. I wish well, it were anybody but you. Yeah, well, okay. another white man helped me out. Oh, I have five points from giving him a back rub earlier. I want that noted on the board. Well, folks, this has been Please Be Nice to Me, the show about radical empathy and cutthroat kindness. Join us again next time when we find the next most big nicest person in the world. I'm Charlotte Avery. Please be nice to me. Please be nice to me. It's the beginning of an outro song that I'm working on, but you get to hear a little sneak peek right now. And if you want to hear more of that, then make sure you follow the channel. Just subscribe to All Good No Worries. You're watching it right now. How hard could it be? Oh, <laughs> check that show out too. Anyway, follow us on Instagram, allgood.noworries, and watch Always Open every Tuesday. And go please be nice to someone. <laughs>